no one outworked Dan Velez on the practice field. He was, he never took 30 seconds off. And it wasn't because he, he was a perfectionist. It was because he was determined to be as good as he could possibly be and, and also work on the things that would make the team better. Dan was, a, was another quiet leader. He, he didn't, you know, he wasn't a rah-rah guy, but boy, it, I mean, he took everything so seriously that people around him didn't dare not to be serious and work hard with him. And so his, his entire focus of his commitment to the game, his desire to be the best he could be, and his team to be the best he could be, because he really was all about the team. Uh, that made everybody really stand up and pay attention. Well, Dan, first of all, is just a truly great lacrosse player. Um, I think it speaks volumes that he's got, he stands 11th on the total points list still when we pay, played less games. Um, we did we did schedule some, some pretty good teams in there. And, you know, we never made a tournament. We had one ECAC, ECAC championship game. So it was one extra game at the end of the season. And he's 10th on the assist list, all-time assist list. Uh, those things are pretty remarkable achievements for that early era of the game. And, uh, and again, Dan drew the, the toughest defenseman on every, you know, in every matchup. And uh, I think that, that speaks volumes about his ability as, a, as a, uh, an attackman. And as I mentioned, his, his leadership skills and his, his uh, key contributions as a leader, I think, all speak volumes about him. Dan's commitment to being the best that he could possibly be was uh, something that everybody noticed and it rubbed off on him. And I think that made him a great teammate. So Dan was not only just a great player, he was a great teammate. And his commitment to the sport and to the team uh, was uh, an enormous influence on how well we did in those days in that early era of lacrosse at, at uh, Stevenson.